guys, it's Voy, and I hope you guys are having a blessed whatever the time of the day it is for you. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this Mother's Day card and this Mother's Day box. Or a box. Yeah. So, in this card, you have mini little envelopes with mother over each. You can either do like a poem thing, or you can make it match the letters whatever you want to do write write some little note inside of it you know because it's your mother you know anyway so i made this design specifically so when you open it it helps to open instead of you having to try and pick at it and ruining the section of the envelope yeah okay moving on this box so it's a diamond at first and this is how you open it and then it turns into a heart so you can put whatever you want in it as long as it can fit in here. Me personally, I put a fruit, a Chinese fruit, called Longang. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but that's what it's called. And anyway, that's it. So, without further ado, let's hop on into it. Okay, things you'll need. A cutting mat, designer paper, specifically about two to three a metal ruler, scissors, a pencil or writing utensil, exacto knife, washi tape, label stickers, cue cards specifically 10 by 15 centimeters, sticky notes specifically 7.5 by 7.5, a glue gun, and glue sticks. So first you want to select the designer paper you want to use for your Mother's Day card. Then fold the paper in half. Increase it. And you want the length of the card to be at 22 centimeters. So mark out 22 centimeters on both sides. Draw a line across each point and cut it. Time for the envelopes! First take a sticky note, then fold to the sticky line. Do not pass or go over, under, whatever you want to call it, the line. It should look like that. Now you're going to want to mark out one and a half centimeters. I had to start at one centimeter and go to 2.5 because I feel like the ruler is a bit off, but it's okay. So you're going to mark off on the other side where it's not sticky, where you got to fold. Hopefully y'all can see where you need to fold. I'm sorry if this is a bad example. Then you're going to crease it, use your sticky, what do you call that? Washi tape. <laughs> And you're gonna tape where the flap would be. Okay, unfold it, then fold the little two flaps inwards, fold it again, and you're going to kind of make a semicircle. Make sure the washi tape side is on the inside, and it should look like that. Then straighten out the quarter circles, and you wanna match up those bottom two sections, fold it so you know where you're cutting. But you're not cutting there. <laughs> so about a five millimeters and cut like a semicircle or a quarter circle. Cut those sections off. It should look like that. Now you're gonna measure one and a half centimeters. I had to start at one centimeter, so it ended up being three and a half centimeters. Then you're gonna cut off that little section and then fold in your paper so that it sticks to it and you don't have to use glue. And there you have it, your little mini envelope. Now for the little notes, which can also be money if you choose. So I use a 15 by 10 centimeter cue card, and you're gonna need to do a hamburger fold and cut along that line as straight as you can. Um, you can draw if you want to. And then again, you're gonna do another hamburger fold, cut along that line, draw if you need the line. Keep cutting. <laughs> Because you're going to need six. Then you can write on either side of your choosing. Depending on the side you choose, that's the side that will be on the inside of the fold. And the other side will be on the outside when your mother takes it out of the little card. So you're going to do a 
hot dog fold, then a hamburger fold, and that's how it'll be inside the envelope. Oh, and crease it. Remember to crease it if you want. And then you use these little flaps to help you open the envelope. Here I am putting in the little note. And then I close the little envelope. And there I have it. And now I'm just fooling around and showing off my work. I felt so proud, guys. <sighs> to put the envelope on the card, you're going to want to make sure you got the one centimeter to 22 centimeters. Then you're going to go two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters, three centimeters, and then it'll go to 22. So here I am counting it out for you. And to help with knowing where the envelopes need to go, I did lines or little dots in the middle as guider points. So that's where it'll be glued on. As you can see, gluing it on with the glue gun. Make sure that glue gun is nice and warm or hot. Look at that. And then you can just erase the pencil lines if you use a pencil. If you use a pen, sorry. Okay, so you're gonna take out label stickers that spell out the word mother, and I advise you to use clear glue because they do not stick on the best by themselves. I use different label stickers and gel pen to get the Happy Mother's Day. Now I'm just opening the envelope. It's just an example of what it would look like when your mother opens it, you know? And she gotta open the little card thing with a little note. For the box, you need two design papers. I personally picked two different designs. And then you're going to make the first one 5 millimeters less than the original size. And you're going to mark it all the way around. And make sure to get the corners. After getting your points, draw a line all the way across, all the way around the paper so you know where you need to cut. Then cut the 5 millimeters off. Now for both design papers, this is how you'll need to fold it. So fold it across and make sure to fold it properly or evenly, sorry. And you're going to want to crease it. Then you're going to fold it the other way. Make sure to get the edges aligned and the corners as well and fold them edges it helps trust and crease and you're gonna do a triangle fold get them corners trust and then crease and then do it on the other side get the corner align and then crease the back Take the corner and put it to the middle point or the middle folded point and then fold it again. You're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Increase it and open it up, it should look like that. Then do the same thing. Take the corner, fold to the center, then fold it again. Now to make the box, you're going to fold up the sides or the flaps. Then you're going to crease that little section there and fold the triangle part inwards. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to explain that. Then you're going to take a corner and push it inwards. It may rip, so be careful, because mine did, sadly. But anyway, once you fold it in or push it in and crease it more, it should turn out like a heart-shaped diamond. So diamond in the front, heart in the back, or whatever. And those are my two different designs. That's why you need it to be five millimeters less so that it can fit over the other, like a box. And there you have it, the heart-shaped slash diamond Mother's Day box.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys would like to know more about this video, more about me or where to find me or my YouTube channel, check out the description down below. Also, I'd like to say a big happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, including my mama. Happy birthday, mama. Birthday, whoa. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, mama. Wait, I told you not to watch it, though. Okay, you can watch this after Mother's Day. I'm sorry. I love you. Um, anyway. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.